Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning, good morning. Um, or Borida, uh, as they say in Wales, where I'm from. Um, and if you don't know where Wales is, it's right there. Um, so it's a couple of hours away. Uh, we have our own language. Uh, <laughs> okay, so again, you know, I just, I just want to echo what, what Tom has said. You know, thank you all so, so very much for coming. Uh, when we started planning this, uh, you know, I, I wasn't sure if, if anyone would want to come along. Uh, so I'm, I'm really thrilled to kind of be standing here today and, and to see you all smiling, uh, looking awake, clutching your coffee. Um, and, and you know, it, it's great to find an interesting and engaged community wanting to kind of talk about this about this subject. So I'm just going to get us started on our kind of impact theme for the day by talking a little on our impact research plans uh, here at my society. So I should start by introducing myself. I'm Rebecca. Um, I'm head of research at my society. Um, I've only been with my society for about six months. I started in October. Um, and I should say that I've come from a political science background. Um, I, I, I'm really new to a lot of the kind of really digital, techy kind of stuff. I don't know how to code. Um, I don't know the difference between Django and JavaScript. Um, but what I do know um, is that citizen engagement, direct democracy, transparency, accountability, these things are more present concerns than ever. Um, and my research experience is in trying to make sense of, of what's happening, why it's happening, um, and what can be done to change things, hopefully uh, for the better. So, why do research in this field? Why, why are we, at my society, even bothering with research? Um, aside from the fact we've got some, uh, a lovely grant to do it. Um, well, one of the key questions um, we need to ask is whether what we're doing is even worth doing at all. And you know, I'm echoing what Tom kind of said here. Uh, many of us in this room, I think, are quite evangelical about our medium. We're, we're very, very sold on what we're doing. We believe it's a good thing. Um, but simply <coughs> believing something is good is not the same as it actually being good facts. Um, so we need to be able to show that what we're doing has value, um, that's actually making some sort of difference in the real world. Otherwise, what's the point of doing it? Um, and in order to do that, we need to take a measured and, and actually quite dispassionate approach uh, to, to figuring things out. We have to put our biases to one side, um, our collect evidence, uh, and look at what the evidence is, is telling us, whether that's what we really want to see or not. Um, but why research impact specifically? You know, we're, this is a very kind of specific conference. We're talking about impact. We're not just talking about the, uh, the kind of very broad things you, you could research. We're, we're focusing on impact. You know, there are many other kinds of things that we, we could choose to look at. Um, so why is it so important for us to measure this uh, above all else? Um, research and user experience, you could argue, is, is just as important. Uh, we don't do enough research there, and, and we know we should. We could also focus on researching success or otherwise of our marketing effort. Uh, no marketing, no users, after all. But I believe we all know that ultimately all these things are secondary to, to figuring out whether what we're doing is actually beneficial. Uh, what's the point of having a better user experience if the outcome of using a tool is nothing much at all? Uh, what's the point of getting more users if our tools are actually not effective or not providing them with the things they need to solve their issues? So what we need to know, above and beyond anything else, in, in, in my opinion, um, is whether the current users of our tools are getting benefits from them. Um, what sort of benefits are they? Um, private, public, short-term, long-term, um, ephemeral, or, or profound? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if it were profound? Um, so I don't have long, um, so this is uh, what I want to say to you today. Um, first up, why impact research in civic tech is so tough. It's really, it's, it's hard, it's not easy. Um, impact is hard to measure. It's a fluid concept. Uh, it can't be looked, and it can be looked at in a multitude of different ways. Uh, we tend to get caught up in the digital aspects, I think, of, of what we're doing. Um, the idea of kind of the internet. Um, but in essence, if we kind of boil it down to really what we're looking at, um, it's a social science problem. And we have to use the limited and often lacking tools available in our social science toolbox to actually conduct our research. Even our, even our definitions of impact uh, are open to interpretation. 
Um, impact is defined in the dictionary as a marked effect or influence. Um, we need to consider that our work impacts upon many different constituencies, individual citizens, governments, decision makers, funders, and on other civil society organisations. Getting the data is really hard. You know, e even just getting information that you can actually analyse, it's, really, it's actually really difficult. Uh, we've got things like surveys, uh, analytics, A-B testing, interviews to gather data, but often the data we, we really need is often kind of locked away somewhere um, or, or not even able to be collected. Um, and by this I kind of mean that it can be in the hands of people who won't or can't <coughs> share it with researchers uh, like myself and like many of you in this room. And we know that sometimes our data will actually be skewed by certain populations being more open to, to taking surveys, for instance, or making themselves <coughs> available for interview. So we can try to correct for this, um, but we'll never get a, a kind of flawless, full picture. Um, everything we do is always going to be open to interpretation because of these, because of these factors. Um, and the impact of civic tech can actually be more subtle and organic. And it sometimes might not even manifest until a significant time after our tools have been utilised. It's impossible to record and quantify all of the kind of ripples um, that our tools create. So, we, we've thought about this, you'll be pleased to hear, um, and we're going to do experiments. Uh, we're not writing long theoretical pieces, um, we're, we're going to get our hands dirty. Uh, we're going to try and pick out facts, uh, we're going to refrain from imposing, well, try and refrain from imposing our opinions and preconceived beliefs on those. Uh, we're very much looking at partnership. Uh, we want to look at tools that are being used around the world, uh, not just the ones that, that we at My Society run here in the UK. Um, we're looking to be open about our results. We will, of course, be looking to publish in peer-reviewed journals um, to add weight, to add legitimacy um, to, to our findings, but we know that this takes a really long time. You know, the, Those academics in the room will know that... Oh, five minutes? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> The, yeah, the academics in the room, you, you'll know how kind of how difficult um, and, and how long it, it takes to get uh, findings published in the journal. Um, and we want to share our preliminary findings with you as we go on our blog. Um, we're not scared of finding out things that are negative. You know, again, echoing what Tom said earlier, if we find that our tools are really not making a difference or they're having a negative effect, um, we'll still share those results. Um, you know, perhaps maybe sit down and have a long, hard think about what we're doing um, and, and how we can change for the better. Um, so we are looking at impact using two axes. Um, on the one way, we're looking at time, so before people use a tool, um, during and afterwards. Um, and we're also looking at actors, so individual users. <coughs> we're looking at civic, civic technologists um, and the, the kind of socio-political context that these things exist within. Um, we're doing this because impact occurs at multiple points in a user journey and it's shaped by, by all of these different factors. Um, so we've developed a strategy based on a Haddon's matrix <coughs> model to try and frame these points of impact. So I've been told to, to tell you to brace yourself for a scary table. Um, <laughs> here it is. Um, don't strain your eyes to see this. this. There's a copy of this in the research strategy which is in your delegate packs. So if you're at the back, don't, don't, don't strain your eyes. Um, but this is, a, this is our framework for researching impact. Um, we are basically planning on using these boxes to prioritise uh, and frame our research activities. We'll do multiple research activities in each box, um, focusing on different relevant research questions relating to, to that point of impact. So we want to fill these boxes um, with knowledge about impact. At the moment, all we have in these boxes are questions. Um, we want to put answers into these, into these boxes. Um, so just as an example, um, this is box C3. Um, and there we are planning on conducting a study in Latin America, looking at how governments over there are reacting and responding to the advent of civic technology. Uh, are they integrating with it? Are they trying to subvert it in any way? Uh, what's the impact that, te that civic technology is having upon the kind of institutional government structural environment in Latin America. So that's just one example of, of one experiment that's going to that's happen down there in that box. There will be many, hopefully. 
Um, and as I said, we're looking to work with partners um, across the world. So if you have sites, um, ideally with some traffic, um, that, we can, that we can work with you um, as part of this, this big research journey, then, then please do get in touch with us because we would love, love to hear from you and love to work with you. Um, so just to kind of tie this up, uh, when it's all over, we, we expect to be able to provide intelligence on things like costs, on things like impact measures, whether impact in specific areas is positive, negative, neutral, um, and whether, you know, hopefully there's, there's value in our work. Um, finally, I just want to say that we're unlikely to develop any grand unified theory of impact. If that's what you're hoping for from today, I don't think you're going to walk away having got that. Um, the very nature of impact is, is so slippery, um, it's very difficult to completely <coughs> pin it down using the tools at our disposal. So what we will have, hopefully, is a broad understanding of where impact can and does occur. What that impact looks like and, and how best to collect the evidence to, to demonstrate it. Uh, we hope this information will be of benefit to, to the whole civic tech community um, and will inform good decision making in your own organisation. We're not looking to keep this to ourselves, we're not going to be putting our arms around our homework. We want to share this with all of you because we want this to be of benefit to everyone.